Chief Secretary Farley Augustine is aiming to take legal action against the central government for money owed. This was part of a motion presented in the Assembly Legislature today as the reprioritization of the THE's budget was discussed. Reporter Candice Jackson has the details about today's motion in this story. Officer, notwithstanding the public utterances from the Minister of Finance and his Tobagonia colleagues in the Parliament, as mentioned earlier, the calculations reveal that the THA is owed a total of $166.4 million in approved parliamentary allocation that have not been transferred to the THA. This is for the period 2017 to 2023. Chief Secretary Farley Augustine noted that it is a matter for which he has been in communication with the Minister of Finance for the past two years. But... Madam Presiding Officer, the time for future talk, futile talking has expired. We are now at an advanced stage in our preparation for two things. One, legal action. And two, preparation of the complaint to invoke the jurisdiction of the Dispute Resolution Commission. The last time the Dispute Resolution Commission was convened was in 2001, determining that the THA should be allocated between 4.03% and 6% of the national budget, considering the population of Tobago and higher costs of living. Meanwhile, the THA requested $4.54 billion from central government, but was allocated only $2.585 billion. This shortfall affects various aspects of the THA expected expenditure in fiscal 2023 or last fiscal 60 million to fund urp as in to pay the workers but only 18 million allocated in this fiscal and the figure is likely to go up uh, for both cpep and urp owing to the increase in the minimum wage from roads to funding for university students and various other projects, all are similarly underfunded. To address this, Augustine announced plans to increase the developmental budget from $260 million to $500 million. We propose to suppress recurrent expenditure by 5% in the first instance and transfer the estimated $115 million from recurrent expenditure to finance development projects for fiscal 2024. We propose to deploy funds from the unspent balance account. Unspent balances would be utilized to supplement CPEP and URP programs, while the suppressed recurrent expenditure would fund road improvement works and other projects, including the new Scarborough Secondary School. And allow me to pause here, Madam Presiding Officer, to indicate that the budgetary allocation for a new Scarborough Secondary School for fiscal 2024 is $1 million, with 800000 allocated for repairs to the current school. However, we are proposing to spend at least $3 million in this fiscal year for all the pre-construction works. In the meantime, Augustine explains that they are hoping to suppress recurrent expenditure by implementing the following measures. All new purchases of THA vehicles must be electric as far as possible. Review, manage, and contain discretionary expenditures. More deliberate efforts at reducing the electricity consumption across THA operations. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates, Television News.